students welcome to smart engineering tutorials we are covering the different topics of unit 3 in communication systems today we, in this session we will be seeing what are line codes or digital signaling formats before discussing what is line coding before that we'll see the term source coding schemes which i have used here the message which is to be transmitted it contains irrelevant data and since the transmission bandwidth needs to be saved so this read relevant data need not to be sent and for this source encoders are used which use source coding schemes to convert the message into a code word which is a bit string of ones and zeros so here what i have written here is that once a message which is to be transmitted is converted into a bit string of ones or zeros by using one of the source coding schemes which can be the shannon fano coding or the huffman coding which will be discussed in another sessions now after we get the code word the we have got the message in in the form of binary data which is in the form of ones and zeros and this is called digital data now this digital data can be transmitted over a wired or a wireless channel for a wireless channel we need modulation techniques but for transmission over a wired channel we require the data the digital data to be converted into an electrical waveform because wired channel is capable of transmitting an electrical waveform so the schemes which are used for converting a bit string into an electrical waveform is called line coding scheme there are different line coding schemes which are discussed below the first one is the on off signaling or we also call unrz that is unipolar return to zero in on off signaling here the symbol 1 is transmitted by using a positive pulse of constant amplitude for the full symbol duration and the bit 0 is transmitted by a no pulse this will be made clear through an example the another coding scheme is nrz which is the non return to zero it is also called bnrz here the bit 1 is transmitted by a positive pulse of constant amplitude and symbol 0 is transmitted by a negative pulse of same amplitude as that of symbol 1 the third one is the urz or the rz its full form is unipolar return to zero or simply return to zero in this scheme the symbol 1 is transmitted by a positive pulse of half symbol width and symbol 0 by a no pulse the fourth one is the brz or bipolar return to zero in this line coding scheme the symbol 0 is transmitted by a no pulse and bit 1 by a positive pulse the alternate one after this one it is transmitted by a negative pulse of same amplitude as of previous one the fifth one is the split phase code or called as manchester code in this the symbol 1 is transmitted here i have used an example to show or a waveform bit 1 or the symbol 1 is transmitted by a positive pulse of half symbol if i say 0 to t is the full symbol duration so 0 to t by 2 is a half symbol width so the symbol 1 is transmitted by a positive pulse of half symbol width followed by a negative pulse of half symbol width both are of same height or same amplitude similarly we can see here the symbol 0 is transmitted inverse of symbol 1 here 
the bit zero is transmitted by a negative pulse of half symbol bit duration followed by a positive pulse of half symbol bit duration both of same height or same amplitude the sixth or the last we can say is the differential encoding scheme and in this scheme the symbol zero is represented by a transition and symbol one is represented by no transition in this differential encoding a reference bit is used and with that reference a transition is shown now all the six different line codes will be more clear with the help of a example here i have used a binary data of 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 and i'll be using all the six different line coding schemes to convert this binary data into an electrical waveform the first one is the on off signaling we have already said that in this scheme one is represented by a positive pulse of constant amplitude and zero by a no pulse so here so here we can see that wherever there is zero there is no pulse and wherever there is one there is a constant amplitude pulse that two positive so here two ones this is a constant positive amplitude similarly this one and this one here in this example the solid dash lines are showing the symbol duration i have written here also between two dash lines this is the full symbol duration and half of the width is the half symbol duration i have mentioned here in the second that is the nrz technique or the nrz line coding scheme here 0 and 1 like here 0 is shown by a negative pulse and 1 is shown by a positive pulse and both the pulses the positive and negative are of same amplitude for 1 i have used here plus v and for 0 i have used here minus v this is called non return to zero since it is not stopping at the zero line but it is moving from minus v to either plus v or vice versa so wherever there are zeros in the data the waveform is minus v of minus v amplitude and wherever there is one it is of plus v amplitude the third one is the rz that is the return to zero in this we have already mentioned that one is transmitted by a positive pulse but of half symbol width and zero by a no pulse so wherever you can see zero see there is no pulse and wherever there is one i have used half symbol width duration and of positive amplitude pulse to show the transmission of one so in this full duration only half time the pulse is present of positive amplitude and for half of the symbol width it is not present so one with half symbol width of positive pulse now the fourth one it is the brz or the binary return to zero here zero is again represented with a no pulse and the first one is transmitted by a positive pulse and the alternate one the one following the previous one is represented by a negative pulse of same amplitude similarly now this one is represented by minus v so another one following this one is now represented by a plus v so positive pulse now the one following this will be represented by a minus pulse your negative pulse so we have to remember here the zero by no pulse and the ones occurring in order uh, have to be inverse of each other if positive the another one with negative another one with positive 
following this with negative but all are of same amplitude that is either plus v or minus v now the fifth one is the split phase or the manchester code in this i have already told that zero is represented the data was zero one one zero one zero zero one so here the data is zero and for zero the pulse is negative of negative pulse of half symbol width followed by a positive pulse of half symbol width so negative that is minus v for half symbol width followed by plus v of half symbol width and then one is represented by first is zero then one one and for one we are using a positive pulse of plus v but of half symbol duration followed by a negative pulse that is minus v of half symbol duration then we again have one so it will go back to positive since one is represented by positive pulse of half symbol followed by a negative pulse then we have zero so for zero we are using negative pulse followed by a positive pulse and one positive pulse followed by a negative pulse zero we are using negative pulse followed by a positive pulse again we are having a data zero so it will come back to negative so negative followed by a positive and now we have the last bit is one so positive followed by a negative so since on the paper the data is above you can write here again zero one one zero one zero zero one zero one one zero one zero zero one that will be easy to match the data the last one is the differential encoding here in this we use a reference bit which we have shown with another color and here i have used a high reference bit that is the it is one whenever a zero is present there is a transition and whenever there is a one there is no transition so since the data initial is zero the first bit is zero and the reference bit was one so zero will show a transition so from one the data will transit to zero and another bit is one no transition one no transition now the data is zero so from zero the data will transit make a transition to one for zero again now it is one no transition now it is zero so the data will make a transition from one to zero again there is zero so now the data will transit from this zero to one or high and the last bit is one so there will be no transition so in this way we have seen the different line coding schemes how a binary data is being converted into an electrical waveform or a signal now there are few properties of the line code which we will discuss now so the properties of a line code the first property is that the important parameter or the uh, designing perspective point of view the transmission bandwidth and transmitted power they have to be conserved as much as possible or used efficiently so the first point says that a line code should be such that the transmission bandwidth should be as small as possible the second property is that the in the signal which we obtain its a spectrum should match with the channel frequency response so that there is less distortion the third point says that the line code should be such that the timing or the clock information can be extracted from the signal itself means there should be points from where the clock can be started or it can be uh, initiated the next point is that the code should have the error detection as well as correction capability the fifth point says 
the coat the line coat should should be able be to be detected and decoded and that too easily so that the circuit is easy to be made the sixth property says that the line coat should be transparent which means that the coat should be possible to correctly transmit a digital data regardless of whether it is a zero or a one it should be able to differentiate between the two bits and should transmit the data efficiently the seventh property says that for a given bandwidth and error probability the transmitted power for the code should be as minimum as possible then it will be a good code so these were the basic line codes which we discussed but there are other line codes too which exist but in ip university or for basic btech course these six are the basic basic schemes which to, are to be studied in btech thank you and subscribe to the channel for further notifications